To begin, ensure that your computer detects the storage device that you intend to fix. Insert your device into its appropriate port and check whether your computer recognizes it through the File Explorer. Upon confirming your storage device, open the Run program by pressing Windows plus R. When the Windows Run box appears, type Disk Part and hit the Enter key. Type the command list disk in the disk part utility and hit enter. You'll see that the computer has two mounted disks, disk 0 inches, which is the hard drive, and disk 1, which is the flash drive that was inserted earlier. From the list of disks, you'll notice the assigned number of your storage device. You will need this property to select your device. On the next command line, type in select disk, then disk number. You'll notice the disk part utility informs you that the disk is now selected. Although you can skip this step, it's a good practice to view the attributes of your selected disk to view the overall status of your storage device. From the command line, type the command attributes disk. When a disk's read-only attribute is configured to yes, it means that it doesn't allow modifications on the device. If your disk is configured this way, then your storage device is write protected. The last thing you should do is to clear your disk's read-only attribute. Clearing it means toggling the state to no so that the write protection gets disabled. To achieve this, enter in the command. You'll be notified that the attribute has been successfully cleared. Try running the attributes disk command again, and you'll see that the read-only attribute is now set to no. You should now be able to copy files and make changes to your storage device without the disk is write protected error. Once your storage device has been plugged in, launch the registry editor. The most straightforward way of opening this tool is through the run command. Press the Windows plus R hotkeys to display the Windows run box, then type rejet it and hit enter. On the left panel of the registry editor, navigate to the path hkey underscore local underscore machine system current control set and control. Confirm if a storage device policies folder exists. If it does, then you can skip the folder creation process and proceed with the DBA word creation. Otherwise, you'll need to manually create the folder. Right-click on the folder named Control. Hover your mouse pointer to New and select Key. Upon creating a new folder or key, rename it to Storage Device Policies. For the Storage Device Policies to work, you should create a D-word entry named Write Protect. Select the Storage Device Policies folder and right-click on its left panel to display the context menu. Move your mouse pointer over New and click D-Word, 32-bit value option. Rename the new D-Word entry as Write Protect. Now that we have the Write Protect entry, we need to modify its value data to zero. Doing this lets you disable the Write Protection of your storage device. To achieve this, double-click the Write Protect entry and change its value to zero if it's not yet in this state. To complete the process, reboot your computer and confirm if the Write Protection has been removed from your storage device.